And hey, welcome to my cosplay room. And if you hear some small sounds, it's just my cat Maho, who is helping us by violently playing with a paper ball on the floor. But don't mind him, because I really wanted you guys to be part of the process of finally giving my cosplay room a makeover. Now, this room is not only my cosplay room, it has a lot of other functions that it needs to fulfill. And even now, it is a a decent sized room, there's definitely not enough space for all of the things I really want in here. But I hope with some creative solutions and the help of IKEA, we can find some ways to make this more spacious and hopefully fulfill all of the purposes I really need this room to be. So if you're up for it, let's first look at what we have to work with. Come along! Let's simply start with taking a spin around the room and looking at the problem child. Because as you can see, this room is quite messy since I have quite a lot of storage problems in this room and it's also not fulfilling a lot of functions that I need. So we have quite a big task ahead of us. But fear not, I have called in some professional help. Maho. Before we start with any of the fun renovating stuff, I want to take you through what some of the problems with this room are. So maybe if you have some similar problems, you might be able to use some of the solutions that I have found. All right, let's start first in this area of my room, which was supposed to be my sewing area. But quite sadly, it has never really served as it. This is due to a lot of small things, but the biggest reason is there is simply not enough space on the disc. And another big problem is all of the storage I have beneath the desk because it looks clustered and just very messy. Speaking of something that looks messy, I also have all of this foam storage behind my door. We need to find a better way to store all of my foam. Oh look, over there! More cluster and messy things we need to fix. Okay. Next up, we have my favorite area, which is my crafting area. The problem here is that it would be so nice if I could go around my table from all of the sides. This way it would also be much easier for me to film crafting videos. Most of my tools are actually scattered random places around the room, which means that every time I've cleaned up the room and want to craft, I need to go around and pick up all of the tools again. So I would really love that everything is in the same place. Welcome to the last part of the room that we need to look at. In this area, I have the problem that my green screen is quite annoying to set up and also the wall that I wanted to use for backdrop in my videos is kind of blocked by my computer and furniture. Now I have showed you all of the different areas of my room that has some things we need to fix or find solutions for. So now we need to be creative and actually get to work. But we also get to go to IKEA. Let's go. First thing I'm gonna do to eliminate cluster is to simply sort through all of my stuff. And I'm gonna start with the sewing desk because as I mentioned earlier, one of the problems was that I didn't have enough space here. And again, fear not, our moral support is here to help us. Things have been sorted and moved, so there's actually space for all of my sewing equipment now. Moving on, I sorted the rest of my room and this took quite a lot of hours. But while I was at it, I sorted things so all of my hair supplies would be in one place, all of my patterns in another, so things wouldn't be as scattered around the room as it used to be. This took quite a lot of time, but there's something very satisfying about sorting all of your things and I got to throw out an embarrassing amount of stuff. All of the cleaning and all of the sorting of my stuff is done and we can finally start with the makeover of the room. And I simply started that with writing a list of all of the functions and all of the things I needed of the room. Then I measured all of my furnitures in the room and also the room itself. I also prepared by spending some time looking on IKEA for some furnitures which I thought could solve some of the problems I had in the room. And with all of that, I was finally ready to actually make a plan for the room. I drew all of the possibilities of where to put the furnitures in the room. A tip if you are also renovating your room is to cut out small pieces of the furnitures. 
This way you can easily move them around and play with the outlook. And here are all of the many combinations I made of the room. And with all of these combinations drawn, it was much easier for my girlfriend and I to know where we should put the furniture. And so began the chaos of moving furniture. Luckily for us, we had Maho at our side to supervise that everything went as to plan. I really love how easy it looks in these footage to move the furniture, when in real life they were quite heavy to move. And as you can see here, the state of the room was total chaos along the way. We had to try out some of the layouts to see how they actually look like in real life. One thing is to draw them and another thing is how they will actually look. This here is one of the first layouts we tried out, but in this layout I wasn't able to get around my crafting desk from all angles. So we simply had to move all of the furniture one more time. Another great thing about the second layout is that I could move all of my foam pieces from behind my door away, so that now I could actually open up my door all the way. Amazing! And I could store the foam pieces between two of the furniture instead. Last things got put in place and we were finally done with moving all of the furniture. So we know we have done all of the hard work now of arranging all of the furniture and sorting things out. So now we deserve the IKEA trip. Let's go. As I said earlier, I had already spent way too much time looking at their website. But their showcase rooms are always great if you need to be inspired. And it's also nice to look at the things in real life before buying them. This beauty here I thought would be perfect for storing all of my essential crafting tools. I also found the backdrop that everyone is using for making cosplay TikToks. But I was not only looking for practical solutions, I was also looking for a little bit of swag for the room. All the things were bought and now it was simply time to go home and assemble all of them. Maho, could you move a little? I kind of want to assemble this furniture. I know you want to help and everything, but could you scooch a little? Yes? Okay, no, it's just your box. Eventually Maho left the box and I could continue my IKEA assembling journey. With my new tool of cares and destruction assembled, I could fill it up with my favorite tools. So this is my crafting box where I have my sharpener, I have my utility knives, I have some of my safety gear and a lot of stuff that I use. But as you can see, this box is quite small and I really want all of these things that I use a lot to be quite close to me. So. We're gonna put them in our new furniture. Ah yes, problem solved. I can't begin to describe what a great quality upgrade this was. Now all of my tools and safety gear is in one spot and easy to get. The break is over and it's time to assemble more furniture. And this time is a chair for my sewing desk where I can adjust the height of the chair. This is also one of the reasons I haven't been using my sewing desk, because the height of the table is made for me to be standing, 
And as you might know, it's not very comfortable being standing and sewing. But here it is, my new butt supporter. I bought this LED strip in Ikea because I feel like all the YouTubers has these very cool lights uh, in blue, pink, purple in the background that just makes the videos look so much cooler. So I hope I can achieve the same effect with this. So let's get handy and put this up. I must say for the price, this LED strip was so easy to use. Not only to assemble it, but also to set it up. With the very strong tape on the back side, it was so easy to place this LED strip. By placing it on this furniture, it will not only look great on my videos, but also on my stream. Since the new layout makes it possible for me to use it as a background for both of them. One very easy task done and let's tackle something a little bit more difficult. As it would turn out, it wouldn't be so tricky to get this curtain hanger up, but more so to get it out of the box. Who would have thought this would be a problem for a lesbian? But in the end, I managed to do it and could move on. As with everything else from IKEA, this was also a fairly easy job to get done. Okay, so here it is. I have put out the curtain. So now I have my green screen here. Very happy and very pleased with it. For taking pictures, I have just bought uh, these plain curtains from Ikea as well and I'm gonna take them out and see how they look so they can also hang on the exact same hanger as the green screen so two in one what's not to like and this is what the curtain looks like this curtain hanger was also a big upgrade because it was so annoying before when I had to get my green screen up and I also didn't have any simple backgrounds if I needed to take pictures and I can just very easily toss it to the side when I don't need it. Okay, so in this bag I have, hold on, resting the mic here. I have bought whoop, some white fabric that I'm gonna sew the curtain off. And I also have some of the fabric I'm gonna use my Elton Rain cape. So I hope this is gonna be great. It looks so fancy. Anyway, uh, renovating the room. So white fabric, let's sew a curtain, shall we? On my list on what I needed from the room, I also wrote down that I wanted it to be pretty. And one thing that is for sure not pretty about this room is all of the storage I have under my sewing desk. So a cheap and easy solution is to sew a curtain. It is definitely not difficult to do. It's just a little bit time consuming. The curtain is all done, so let's put it up and hide away all of the mess under the disc. With the curtain in place, we can move on to the next part. Instead of this old notice board, I wanted something where I could hang some of my sewing supplies. And it seems like in every cosplay room, you need to have one of these white hanger board things, whatever they are. I had also bought some different things that can hang on this board, so I can store some of my sewing equipment on it. We shouldn't forget about making things pretty, so I bought these fairy lights to make some cozy atmosphere. And Maho found the process of putting them up very interesting. And guys, that was the last thing we needed to do. In case you should have forgotten how the room looked like in the beginning, Let's just rewind and take a look about the cares and the mess we started with. <sighs> I do not miss the old room. But here is the final result. My cosplay room is done and the makeover is complete. The room feels bigger and brighter and so much nicer to be in. But let's take a quick look of some of the things we did in here. 
If we first look over here, my EVA foam now has storage and my green screen has a proper hanger. Not only can I now use my sewing disc with a new chair that fits and some more space for my sewing equipment, but all of the mess underneath has been hidden away. It is now possible to get all the way around from my crafting desk, which means that I can also film videos here. And also all of my important crafting tools have been gathered in one place and are easy to access. Not much happened to my computer setup, but there was not really any problems here, so they have just been moved. Alright guys, here we are, the cosplay room is done and I am beyond happy because all of the things that I wanted to change about the rooms, all of the functions that weren't quite there has been fixed. So now the room fulfills everything I need of it. Some places are still cramped because I have a lot of equipment, but that's okay. I still think the room is very pretty and very cozy, so I am beyond pleased with this project. Let me know what you would like to fix about your crafting area because maybe we can help each other out and find some solutions. Because as I thought in the beginning, this would be a quite big project, but some of the things were fairly easy fixed. So maybe we can help each other down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way till the end and for watching my journey of renovating my cosplay room. I think with that, we're just gonna roll the end credit. I hope you enjoyed this fun project of renovating my cosplay room and if you're thinking about giving your crafting space a makeover, I hope there is something in this video that might be able to inspire you. And if you enjoyed this video, maybe give it a like and I really hope to see you in another video. Until then, bye!